Father God, we just give you thanks today for your presence. And we thank you and ask you to help us learn how to follow Jesus. Jesus, you told us to follow you. You didn't tell us to sing to you. You didn't tell us to <clears throat> meet in a certain place every week. You told us to follow you. The things that you do, we should be doing if we believe. And we do believe. We desire the Lordship of Jesus Christ over all our lives. All day, every day, 24-7. Not on Wednesday and Sunday, but Monday through Sunday. We just desire you, God, to lead us into righteousness and truth through your Spirit. Holy Spirit, we just ask you to come tonight and this evening as this, as this um, word comes forth, as this seminar is taught in your kingdom school here at Global Diplomat College Center in Greenville, South Carolina. And as Pastor Elvie joins us and many others join us, we just open our hearts and our minds to receive the Word of God, to eat on new bread. Father, I ask for deliverance for those who are struggling in any area of their lives, that the enemy is touching them, that they don't have to live in that place, Lord, that truth can set them free tonight. For it's the truth that sets us free. And your Son and your Word is truth. And we thank you for Jesus, and we ask Jesus to come now and lead us as we follow him through this scripture, through this text, through this word tonight, into his kingdom. We follow him into his kingdom this evening, and we just bless everyone who's listening to this message. They will be blessed. They will be blessed, and they will have to make a decision, a choice. And Holy Spirit, you know who's yours, and you know who you're going after. You know the room tonight and everyone who's going to hear this message. You've already seen it. You've already prepared them. You've already prepared us as you've prepared your prophet Joseph to give a, a word from the Lord, a word from God, our King. Father, your kingdom come in us. Your kingdom come on this earth through your sons and daughters, through your, your ambassadors of Christ, through your children, through your representatives. Through our flesh, Father, we ask you to come live inside of us and live through us. People may see our good works and glorify you and give you honor. Father, we thank you and we love you. And we just bless everyone hearing this message tonight and the wisdom of God being released into the world through your children, through this school and through your holy prophet, Joseph. Bless him and his family, Lord. You have a special blessing for him and his family. I just, I hear that in my heart, and I believe it, and I grab a hold of it. And I just pray everything in the mighty name of Jesus the Christ. Amen. Amen. Welcome to our online seminar for Kingdom Truth, brought to you by Global Diplomat College Center. Our mission is transforming students into leaders and leaders into agents of change. And now presenting Joseph Forbes, God's Holy Prophet and Ambassador. Today, we focus on the seminar and session is ambassadorship of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's say it, repeat it. Ambassadorship, ambassadorship, ambassadorship of the Lord of the Lord, of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I am excited of what God is doing around the world. And also in the cities of the United States of America and also the third world nations and Manila, Philippines. I am excited how God is spreading his word throughout to the nation. God's goal was this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached well in all the world and every nation as a testimony to for all to, to as a testimony to the nation 
And then shall what? The end come. Am I clear? Mm -hmm. Christianity is the biggest and largest religious group in the world. Followed by Judaism, Hinduism, and also Catholicism, and also Islam. They are major groups in the world. Christianity had misled millions. How much had misled? Millions. Millions. Now, I once was a Christian, and I discovered that it is a man-made religion. Wow. Am I making myself clear? Am I making myself clear? Yes. Thousands of churches have been erected around the world. Millions, thousands have been erected around the world. Am I clear? That's right. Hundreds of television shows, thousands of television shows and programming, videos, books, and have been written and been recorded. Millions of pastors, prophets, evangelists, teachers claim that they are God representatives. They claim they know him and they represent him. It is written in the scripture. I want you to write this down, please. Those who join us around the world in this seminar, I want you to do some writing, listening, and I want you to do some searching and and pursuing and discovering and applying this message and the kingdom to your personal life. Mark 13, Matthew 13, 6. Many will come. You see that? Many will come in my name claiming that I am he and will deceive many. How much will come in? Many. We have been witnessed that in our lifetime. We have been seeing David. We've been seeing Jim Jones. We've been seeing many groups came in the name of Jesus. They, they claim to be Jesus. We've been seeing many religious groups say they represented Jesus. But God disagreed. Wow. We are looking at the word ambassadors. We are looking at the word ambassador. The country, heaven is what country? It's called the kingdom of heaven. The country must come first before your personal interests. The country must come first before your ministry. I'm going to make myself clear. That's right. Your nation always is first before your personal ministry. I'm not making myself clear. That's a revelation God showed me. Let me discover that and let us discover that. Ambassadorship of who? The Lord Jesus Christ. Let's say ambassadorship. 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 Of the Lord. Of the of Lord. The word Lord means king. So this is the king ambassador. Sent from a king. Now 
number one, ambassador stands from who? A king. An ambassador of a country is appointed by also a president. Also they have the ambassador of the UN or the American ambassador of the UN. The ambassadorship, number one, is chosen. Write that down. As what? Chosen. Number two, he is appointed. Number three, he act or for another country, not the country where he was sent to, but the country, his home country. He is a person who chosen, appointed, or speak for another. What I'm about to do? Speak for another. Speak for another. Let's really discover that word ambassador. Am I clear? Number one, ambassador is a representative. He is a what? Representative. He is a government servant appointed. appointed. He's a government servant appointed. He is a diplomat sent by a country as its official representative. What he is? He is a diplomat sent by a country as its official representative to a foreign country. Now, you Mr. Ambassador, please explain that to me. Jesus Christ is heaven ambassador. Heaven is the country. The king of heaven, the Lord God, who is father, the father, he is what? King of heaven. He sent Jesus Christ to what? Earth. Earth is the colony of heaven. What is this? Colony of heaven. The colony of heaven. So he sent him to that colony. He came to that colony as an official representative of heaven. He was not from earth, but he was from heaven. His mama was from earth, born, Mary, but he was from heaven. <laughs> he was from heaven. Now, this is Jesus' own statement. John 6 and 38. I, mean himself, have come down. Wow. I have what? Come down from heaven. Where did he come down from? Heaven. <laughs> now, he was born by Mary. Give birth to that child. But this child said he came down well from heaven. In other words, that birth, that birth was about heaven. See, Christianity has misled the world. Did not give any revelation on that birth. That birth was a birth not of flesh, not of the will of man, but that birth was of God. He was speak into Mary's womb. He was a seed of God placed in the womb of Mary. And the word. And the what? Word. And the what? Word. And the word become flesh. Now where does word come down from? This word come from heaven. By what? The angels. <laughs> the angels bring that word. And that word will speak 
to Mary, and Mary received that word. What she done? Received. And give birth to a son. And his name, even his name came from heaven. His name shall be called Jesus. J-E-S-U-S. So Jesus saying, as a man, I have come down from heaven not to do my own will. That's amazing. I ain't come down what I want to do. Go to the place I want to do. I ain't come down to go and study law or study stuff. I have come down not on my own will, but to do the will of him who sent me. So, ambassador is a sent envoy. He's a sent representative from another country. He was sent by what? The king of heaven to earth. He was what? Sent by the king of heaven to earth. So, ambassador is what? Chosen. He's appointed. And he's sent. Let's say it again. He's chosen. 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 He's appointed. 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 And he's a sent. And sent. And he's a sent. He is chosen. He is appointed. And he speaks for another. And he what? He speak for another. He do not speak for himself. When he speak, he speak what the laws of heaven about the kingdom of God. Now let's let's rediscover that. Matthew four seventeen. From that time, Jesus, the ambassador, began to what? Began to what? Preach. Preach. Now what did he preach? What was his message? His message is taking off the old and putting on the new. What was his message? Taking off the old and putting on the new. Let's say taking off the old. Taking off the old. And put on the new. And put on the new. And all thinking and mentality. Get rid of the old thinking and mentality. Repent means to change mind, change thought, change idea, change concept. That old way of thinking. And put on what? Heaven, kingdom, mind concept. A new attitude. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is what new creature, creation. All things had passed away, and behold, all things had become new. So when he go on to the altar and say in the sinner prayer, come in my heart, save me, I'm a sinner, go on and make it, that's a confession. But your heart it's not been renewed. How your heart been renewed? By conviction. Peter made a statement and said this. Let all the house of Israel know, surely, that God had made the same Jesus Christ, you crucified, both Lord, L-O-R-D, and Christ. That's a revelation. When you get a revelation on Lord and Christ, Let's discover that. The word Lord means master. The word Lord means sir. The word Lord means owner. When you got a revelation of owner speaking, he had made the same things he crucified both Lord and Christ. The word Lord means king. <laughs> he the word Christ. The word Christ means anointed king. So when they hear that, there's no other way to go but through the anointed king. Then his next, next message was the country. His next message was the what? Country. country. For the king.
kingdom of heaven. That's the country. He is the ambassador of that country. Coming to earth to every human to say repent. For the what kingdom has come right now. So he brought the kingdom. Now, who is the father? The word father means government. Write it down. The word father means what? Government. The word father represents the Godhead. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost are the government. Invisible government. Jesus represents that invisible government. Wow. <laughs> he represents the invisible government. Hakeem. Tongue to it. Am I clear? Let's rediscover that. Luke 2, 49. There was this young boy at the age of 12. Today, our young children at the age of 12, they want an iPod. They want video game. They want an iPhone. I'm going to make my circle up. They want to know about technology. Now this young, this young man, he was the age of how old, 12 years of age. And at the 12 age, years of age, his mama went to the Passover. Every year they'll have a, a Jews Passover. And he, they went there on a yearly base. And Jesus went in the temple, synagogue. And they were looking for him. And when they find him, what was his statement? What was his answer? And he said to them, Why do you seek me? What are you looking for me for? Why are you looking for me? Now he was 12 years of age. 12 years of age. Why are you looking for me? Did you not know that I am about my fathers? I'm on the government business. In other words. <laughs> I come here to represent the government of heaven. I'm about my father's business. So, so the government is the father's business. Who, what, what is the government? Father's business. Father's business. The government is not about the cross. I'm all about Calvary. Not about the resurrection of the blood. The government business is about what? It's about what? Repent for the what? Kingdom of God. The kingdom. The country. On the best interest of the country. God is the king of heaven. The king has lost. The king, every country, do not operate on love. I pass on 85 and I say the word grace ministry. We are the grace, Christians say. Now, grace, they don't understand what grace is. The word grace means Number one, grace comes from a king. It is a favor of a king. For the grace of what? God, the king, had appeared to every human. Now, what grace do? Teaching them. What grace is? A teacher. Teaching them to deny ungodliness, sin, willingness. Fighting, envy, adultery, willingness that we should live soberly, righteous, godly in this present world. Now, Christians say grace for a license to sin. Sunday, they to the altar, and Saturday, 
in the club doing the throwback dance or drinking, sipping on beer and alcohol. But they saved. And they're on the way to heaven. Grace is not a license to sin. Grace teach you. Now, let's rediscover the ambassador ship. The ambassador ship, it is what? An official representative of from a king to another country. It's a diplomat and boy. It's a what? Diplomat. Diplomat and boy. They are chosen, they're sent forth. When you are an ambassador, you don't speak on your behalf. But somebody come to you and say, homosexuality, what do you think about it? Somebody asks a question, what do you think about it? Now how you must answer them as ambassador? Now many gays get married, women married and women, men married and men, what do you think about that? You don't answer them or that question, your ambassador. You know how to answer that question? Like this. You see, my government said in Leviticus, homosexuality abomination unto the Lord. And you say, have a good day, bye. You know I get. That's what my government said. Now you want I go take it up with him. <laughs> go talk to him. I can tell you what my government said. In the kingdom, it's abomination to God. Now, now do you know what the word abomination means? The word abomination, I look it up. The word abomination means wicked. My God. <laughs> the word abomination means wicked. Hateful. Evil. Am I clear? That's shocking, huh? It's a abomination. Now, ambassador gave his opinion, not his opinion, but the kingdom opinion. Now, watch how Jesus came when he was asked a question. As an ambassador. The disciple, uh, the Pharisee, the religious leader, that they came to him and said, Moses in the law said, go to Matthew 19, Matthew 19, everybody find it? Matthew 19, I'm gonna share, I want to share something as how ambassador speak, and the way how ambassador speak. Everybody get that? Matthew 19. You find that? Yeah. Okay. Now, in the book of Matthew 19, it gives you an input on how ambassadors speak and what is the purpose of an ambassador. Am I clear to you? How do ambassadors speak and what he speak? Okay? Now, let's just discover this, you know. The book of Matthew 19. I want to get this particular word. It's a very important word, sir. Okay? The Pharisees came to Jesus and asked him, what's the question they asked him? Is it lawful for a man to put away his wife for every cause? No. They asked him, it is lawful to put away his wife for any cause. That's the question. Now, it's lawful to put away his wife for any cause. Watch this. Now, if somebody asks you that, as a ambassador, how you answer? <laughs> how you answer that? Now, as an ambassador, what should Jesus answer that? He ignored him, putting away the wars. He ignored him. What did he say? Read it, everybody, read it. What did he say? 
Have you not read? Have you not read? That he, that he, which made which them, made them male and female in the beginning. Wow. So as an ambassador, he answered the worst question yet. He went back to the beginning. He is the manufacturer. And he said, what God had done in building in the beginning, he made what? Male and female. And he made them one. He made them what? One. He know about separation. The words mean to rip you apart. So how did he answer that? As government policy. Read again. Read more. And said, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, and they twain shall be one flesh. Stop there. Now you see how my now you see how Ambassador answered the question. He was talking about one. He ain't mentioned nothing but separation. The walls of separation. But he was talking about one. They should be what? One. In the beginning, how much they were? One. He made male and female, which is one. Adam and Eve were husband and what? Wife. Which was one. Am I clear? So um, ambassador do not speak on his own. He speak what his country did not you know from the beginning. Now, from the beginning, let's see what he's saying about. Pastor Elby. Yes, sir. Find this scripture here. Genesis 1, 27. Read. We in college. Genesis 1, 27. Genesis 1, it says here, So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Stop there. Creating he the who? Them. Male and female. So as an ambassador, he answered a question that he only know but one. Do you not know that God never give you a divorce? Moses write a bill. God had nothing to do with it. <laughs> Moses write a bill. He said, Moses said, because of the hardness of your heart, you put away. Now, I will show you how ambassador speak. Okay, let's get to the revelation of ambassadorship of Jesus. In the book of 2 Corinthians, Two, five, and twenty. Second Corinthians two, five, and twenty. Everybody find that. Second Corinthians. Okay. We passed that way. Second Corinthians 2, 5. Second Corinthians 5 and 20. Therefore, 5 and 20, yeah. It says here, Therefore, we are ambassadors for Christ. As though God did plead for us, we pray you in God's stead, be reconciled to God. Okay. We are ambassador for what Christ for what Christ, Christ. For Christ. the word Christ mean another king so we are ambassador for what the, the king who point ambassador the king we are for what the king ambassador for Christ read 
ambassadors for Christ, God making his appeal through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. Be reconciled. We are we reconciled unto who? God is bringing the whole world into unto himself one. He's bringing on a reconciliation, like a consolidation. When you have money in the bank, you have an account, you consolidate the two as one. Bringing reconciliation what? on to God. You represent heaven. When, when you go to work on your job, an ambassador is walking in the company. You carry the whole heaven with you. An ambassador represents the heaven. If you slap an ambassador, you insult heaven. He said, it's better for you to take a millstone <laughs> and put it wrong in neck and cast you in the sea. If you slap an ambassador, because you insult the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. That's his throne. Heaven is my throne. It is my footstool. So you are protected as an ambassador by the king. If you slap an ambassador, all the angels, all the hosts of heaven, thousands of thousands of angels come to you. So you, you, <laughs> if you slap an ambassador, you're in trouble. Okay? Paul tried that one day. He whipped the six. The church at Colosseum. He whipped them. And as he was going to Damascus, he saw a light. That light come to him. Shine that light. Struck him on his horse and blind him. And who are you? He said, I am Jesus whom you persecute. So Jesus was on, at that time in Ecclesia. Now, what is Ecclesia? If Jesus come in Greenville or any nation in the Philippines, he'll be surprised. He'll wonder. See these big steeple and these graveyards and these benches. And they say they have a church and they're singing in the ritual. God never tell you to do that. How come none of that stuff is recorded in the Bible? Talk to me. How come none of that is recorded in the Bible? There's no record. Jesus went from the house to boat. And there was no singing. He sat in the boat and he began to teach. No praise no worship. Ambassador represent heaven. Ambassador have his car paid for, his house paid for, <laughs> his food paid for, and he paid for by the country. When the multitude followed Jesus, as they began to follow him, the people was hungry. Hungry, you know, you say, I'm going to go to the grocery store. No, no, no. What Jesus did, as an ambassador, he went to heaven. He went to the home country. And that's why he turned fishes, work a miracle, and they feed the what? 5,000. As an ambassador. He was taken care of by what? Heaven. Ambassador represent the laws. Now, you said ambassador, explain to me church. I want to get this mentioned to you about church. The word church means ecclesia. What the word church mean? Ecclesia. What the word church mean? Ecclesia. Ecclesia. 
every king and every president have a cabinet. They call cabinet minister. Ecclesia is a cabinet of the king. It's not a building. Don't you know you were never created to sing? You were never created to clap your hands and, and go worship. You were never created to go to Bible study and walk in Holland's bed. You know, you were, you're what you created. Now let's find what you're created for. I said, I'm ambassador. Let's find it. About heaven. Okay? Pastor Webbs, read the book of Genesis 1 26. 26. Genesis 1 and 26. Pastor Elby, get Genesis 1 26. Read it, Pastor Webbs. And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air. Subject. Do you see any singing in that? No. Pastor Elby? Yes. No. Do you see any clapping in that? No. Do you see any going to church and, and worship in that? No. Hmm? no. You see that? Okay. That is the source from the manufacturer. You are created to have. The word have means your own. To have. To have. You own a house. You have a house. You have a car. You have dominion. The word dominion means you'll be surprised. What everybody want, Pastor Debbie? Everybody wants. Uh, what everybody shelter. want? Shelter. Who shelter and power? No. Everybody want power. Everybody want power. Why do you get up and go to work? Why do you have a business? Why do folks gamble, play the lottery? Because they're looking for power. What are they looking for? Power. Dominion power. is power. What dominion is? Power. Power. What dominion is? Power. You're created power. to exercise power on earth over fish of the sea. Words of there. Now, why you created for power? As an ambassador, you should know this. This is the laws of the country. This kingdom laws are for humanity. On you. This is the law on you. You need to know a law on you as a kingdom ambassador. Why you were created for power? You were created for power to have dominion. Not over another person. Not over your wife. Over the fishes. Order of what? Birds of the air. Order of falls. You are their leader. Created to what? Have dominion. Now, the best way to, to share dominion with you, what you're created for, this is awesome. I want you to write this down. The sun. Pastel B, the sun. The sun was shining throughout all generation and everything what is under the what sun the sun operate by a law see dominion is a law that's what you must have when a manufacturer make a product your car your Honda car pastor when a man made manufacturer made your car and your glove compartment, what it is? Manual. A manual. A what? Manual. A manual. The manual means the mind of the manufacturer. What the manual mean? Mind of the manufacturer. His mind. Everything you will know about the car is in the what? Manual. Everything you will know about.
about you and said what? God idea. The money will. And the money will say you were created to what? Have dominion. Dominions mean power. World power. Dominions mean control. Dominions mean authority. Dominions mean leadership, rule over. You're created for that, to have dominion. Because you were created to have dominion over the earth, you're not created to sing, to clap your hand, which we do. That's all ritual. We all do ritual, okay. Now, Jesus is saying, when I receive the ministry of reconciliation, go back to Corinthians 5 and 17. Let's read it together, everybody, read it together. Everybody, Pastor, therefore, you ready? One, two, three. We know all the college. Therefore, therefore, if any man be in Christ, any man any be in Christ, Christ, he is a new, he's a new creature. Creature. Creation. He knew. He knew. All things have become new. Continue reading the 18 words, Pat Delvin. And all things are of God, who has reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ. And has so, now this is the ministry of the ambassador of Jesus, the Lord Jesus, who have reconciled Reconcile, re, let's say re, reconcile, re, consolidate, it means consolidate into things in the one, reconcile us onto Christ as one. Wow. So your duty is to the world. Now, who's the world? The word world mean cosmos. The word world mean order. Of authority. The word world mean government influence. The word world means system of government. Who the world is? Sports, business, education, health, politics, religion. Who the world is? Group of lawyers, ethnic background. Who the world is? Yeah. Colleges, university, construction workers, fast food, airplane, airline. All of that is a system. You're created to change the system. You gotta change the system by the cross. Do you know that? The cross is only for one reason. It's a death penalty for what? The cross is a what? Death penalty for what? Sin. It was in God's plan. The cross was a death penalty to give you back your power. To give you back your what? Power. Power. To give you back your what? Dominion. Power. As an ambassador, I'm going to share what the cross is. Many people don't understand the cross. What the cross is. People talk about the cross, but they don't know what the cross is. Let's see what the cross is. Are you excited to see what the cross is? Let's see what the cross is for Christian all this of the cross. Let's see what the cross is. Revelation 1 5, Pastor, start reading. Revelation 1 5. And and from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the first begotten from the dead. From who? The dead. From Jesus Christ. The first begotten from God. The dead. From the dead. So, what's up there? Now, underline the word dead. Dead. Let's see what it calls us. It's powerful. When God showed me this revelation, I was sure. Okay. Let's on the word where that line dead. From the what? Dead. Of the dead. Subject. Are you excited? Yes, sir. No. What are you saying? What the cross is? God say, do not 
eat of the tree of knowledge, good and evil, for the day you eat of it, I will go to the cross. He said, what? Die. He's killing me. They killed the Lord Jesus by eating of the tree. That's a law. God already spoke that out of his mouth. He could not come back on that. So the day you break the law, you shall what? Die. So what the cross is? Death. Death. Where Jesus died? The cross. Why the cross? Because of breaking the law. Man, God never gave man the cross. I see a lot of people wearing the cross on and on the, on, you know, on the shirt and in the pocket. God never gave no cross. <laughs> God never gave no cross. Religion gave you a cross. You know why the cross religion do it? They do it to memorialize Jesus. But you know where the cross, that means you're wearing death. You know, when you go in the graveyard, what you see? Cross. What do, <laughs> when you go in the graveyard, what you see? The crosses. If somebody died in the street, what they put up? Cross. Cross. And they're wearing that. What they supposed to wear is to mean they're not some ambassador. Now you go on your job and talk with the cross. They don't hear that. People, nobody won't hear nothing but the cross in your job. Do you know that? Go in the morning and talk with that down with the cross. <laughs> the man can make escort you up the property. Christians love talking about the cross. They want to hear how they going to get the food. The light will pay. The water will pay. And the rent. And they won't care. For, they care about how they get their body, body healthy. That's what Jesus came and preached the kingdom. That's what the ambassador should preach the, 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 the kingdom. Am I clear? Yes. Am I clear to you? Yes. And Bartholomew is what? Preaching what? The kingdom of God. The kingdom of God. Of God. Now let's go to this last scripture before I about to close. This, this is powerful. This is one more powerful than, than all of them. Everybody find it? Okay. Philippians 2, 2, 3. We in college, so I want you to read. Pastor Elvin. Philippians 2 and 2, Pastor Webb 3 and 4. Voice Pastor Elvary. Philippians 2 and 2, it says here, Fulfill ye my joy. Is that right? Philippians 2 and 2. 2 and 2. Come on quickly, Pastor Elvis, find it, find it, find it. Find it, find it out. Ye my joy, that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. Just speaking about other people's interests. Other folks' interests. Philippians 2, 2, 3, 4. Read, Pastor Webb. Let nothing be done through strife. Let nothing be done through argument. As an ambassador, you're never supposed to argue. Those who want to become an ambassador in the kingdom of God, you're never supposed to argue. You're never supposed to argue debate scripture. If you don't believe it, buy. See you later. My government said he must be born again. And I'm gone. Do you see, do you see representative politicians argue with themselves? Or you see them argue? They tell you what the, the, the law say, right? When the police stop you, what do you do? Do we argue with you? Governments do argue with you. We or vain glory. Oh, we glory. 
but in lowliness of mind, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem better let, other. Let better each esteem others better than themselves. Than themselves. Look not every man on his own things. Look not any, any man on his own interest, the way it's supposed to be interest. But every man also on the things of others. Interest. Mm -hmm. So an ambassador, write this down, Pastor. We got it. Ambassador, look on the country interest. Jesus laid on his life for the country. Think about it. He laid on his life that you get in the kingdom. Do you, not, do you know that? Do you know that's why he laid on his life? Not because you saved. See, Christianity to save the world. He laid on his life that you get in the kingdom. Do you know that? Let's prove it. Nikki, a religious leader, what he told Nikki Demas? You got to get your citizenship. Except a man be born again, be born, be what? Born. How you be born? As a baby in a country. Then you become a citizen. Except you be born in America, you're not a citizen of America. Except you be born in the Philippines, you're not a citizen of America. Except you be born in the kingdom. God, you're not a kingdom citizen. That's what he said, to get your citizenship back. Am I being clear? Yes. Yes, sir. He died for you that you get the power back in your life. He had translated us from the what kingdom of darkness, well, in the church. No. Where did he <laughs> Where did he translate us, Pastor Elvin? From the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son. Into the kingdom of love. Did it say put you in the church? No. No. Do you know God never put nobody as a Baptist? Could you find the word Baptist in the Bible? One reason, and John the Baptist, and they abandoned his teaching. They loved his name, but they didn't want nothing to do with his teaching. What you gonna end up here, brother? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they love being a Baptist, but you know what a real Baptist is? Preach the kingdom of God. What you gonna preach? What you want to represent? Kingdom. Another country? Am I clear? Yes. Amen. That's what he represents. Do you know any denomination and non denomination that's in the Bible? In the Church of the Latter day Saints in the Bible. Catholicism is in the Bible. Islam, Jehovah's Witness, Seventh day Adventist, they're all man made religion, as I say. Matthew 15, 89. Read it. Matthew 15, 89. Then, then we'll ask Pastor Elby to minister. Matthew 15, 89. What does it say there? These people draw an eye to me with their lips. Honor me with their mouth. But their heart is far from me. But in vain do they worship me. Read, Pastor Elby. These people draw nigh unto me with their mouths. Stop that. Stop that. Hold up. Hold up. Stop that. No. No. Now, you see how the Bible is, is prophetic as an ambassador? Watch it. Jesus speaks this 4,000 4, years ago. And this happened right now. When they come together, what they, what they come together with? Right. Mouth singing. Draw an eye to me with the mouth. Honor me with the lip. Lip service. Lip sing. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Lips. <laughs> lip service. Honor me with the lips. But the what? But 
Inside. See, God ain't looking at, God ain't looking at their singing. You know what God looking at? What's inside? Inside is, Lord, I need a BMW. Lord, I need a Lamborghini. Lord, I need a, a Harley Davidson bike. <laughs> Lord, I need some grocery. That's what they're thinking about. Food, clothing. They're thinking about it. But they're singing. Huh? But they ain't thinking about no heaven. All of them are left, but their heart is what? Far. Far away from me. Where the heart is on. The teaching. Doctrine of the pastor. What we believe as a Christian. What we teach as a Christian. The heart is far from me. Teaching what? Doctrine. What doctrine is? Teaching. The what? Commandment of what? Men. Of what? Men. They said that they're teaching the scripture. No. But ambassador job is to hold the laws of the teaching of the kingdom, uphold that, and not give his own opinion. Did you ever know me to give him my own opinion? Do you know me? If you ask me a question, what, 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 what do I do? Go scripture. in the scripture. Because I represent a country, not America, not China, not Japan. I represent heaven. So I speak on heaven behalf. I own the earth, but I live in heaven. We all citizens of what? Kingdom. Heaven. We all citizens of what? Heaven. All citizens of what? Is in heaven. Is in heaven. Is in heaven. So we represent what? Heaven. Heaven, the kingdom of heaven. Am I clear? Yes. At this time, yes, go ahead. Pastor, Elvin, just, just pray, just uh, not pray, just speak a word on behalf of what God has in your heart, but it's pretty around the world and the nation. You reach in the world. Go ahead. Yes, I am. Um uh, inviting everyone to uh, listen to what God is saying in these last days and become a citizen of the kingdom of God. God's purpose upon every one of every human is to become his representative. We are here on earth and was given us dominion even at the beginning. Jesus goes back into the beginning. Your real identity is that you have to rule over the earth in all of the earth's resources. We represent God and the Lord Jesus Christ. We represent the kingdom of heaven here on earth. We do not represent any man or any denomination or any religion, but as a citizen of the kingdom of heaven, our citizenship is in heaven. Wherefore, God has made us ambassadors of the Lord Jesus Christ to represent the kingdom of heaven. We are here as an envoy. We are here as a diplomat. And a diplomat is only a call the laws of the kingdom to protect the interests of the country. That's why Jesus said, and this gospel of the kingdom must be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations, and then the end will come. You know why the end is not coming yet? Because we are not representing. We are not doing what Jesus Christ told us to do. That is to preach the gospel of the kingdom of God. And that is our interest. And that is the same interest. Jesus had when we were sent by the Father, when he was sent by the government of heaven to represent the kingdom of heaven on earth. That's why he said, I must. He is required. He is obligated. It's a requirement for him to preach the gospel of the kingdom of God in all other cities. So come and be a citizen of the kingdom of heaven. Come become a representative of the country. And Jesus said, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. You don't have to look for your food or for all your needs. Just seek the kingdom and his righteousness. God bless you and God bless all the nations of the earth. 
Amen.